It's like, why why be the best in one area when you could just be your best all the time? That part. You know? Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on, bro? Come on, bro. You know I got to play this USC. Come on. We we rekindled, man. We oh. lit. We lit. Ah, the sloth, he's still here. Yo, what happened? Oh. Look how I just did it, bro. Yeah. Where's my yeah, chair, bro? Where's yeah. my chair? I got the food for the mukbang. I, I know you probably can't eat too much. Oh, you got Come, the food? Come on, bro. bro. Yeah, I can eat. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna lie. Jerry's gonna see like Nick because all I got was Chipotle. But hey, you got that? It's limited in the in the room though. No cap. It's limited. No cap. Out here, there's unlimited options. Hey, you got the uh, you got the chicken or you got the steak? What you know, you? I got the steak for you. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, I don't like us at once. Hold on, let me hook you up with a chair real quick. Uh, I thought workout's at three, bro. Do you have to hurry up? It is, but it's like, it's just, it's just shooting. Where's it at? Oh, the trainer. For a little flutter, actually. My dad's working on the bathroom upstairs. Yeah, here, let, me, let me get you right with this chair. Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah, let Come me get on. you right. Come on now. I'm gonna be tucked off in here. Huh? Did you guys build this room? Nah, this was a garage. New beats pack touched down? Yeah, man. My boy Those unreleased? They're like the brand new ones. Oh. Yeah. Come on now. Where'd you come from? Sack. Mm. Okay. You didn't even know I watched the golden your game of golden one. Mm-mm. I'll show you a video after, but you didn't even know that. I didn't know you were there. Come on now. I had to pull up on you. But, um, gosh, you annihilated mm -hmm. that thing. That's it right there. That's it right there. When you're, when when the billionaire told you and you told me, when you're enjoying what you do, because yeah. I kept, I asked you, I was like, what he, what about vacations? Did he take vacations? And then you told me that he didn't take vacations until he was what? Like, like 30 or 30, 40. 40? Yeah. Because he was just working, but but he loved what yeah. he did, so he didn't need it. He didn't need a vacation. I think that's like that's OD. That is OD. But it's crazy how like he's a billionaire, but he's still working. Like yeah, you he, can't even spend a billion dollars. No, you can't. Like he could stop I today. Mean, he doesn't work for money at this point. He works just for himself. Mm, that's big right there for yeah. our last seconds. Yeah. Last minute. And that's how it's gotta be, though. I feel like that's how you and Jared are, and a lot of even top basketball players. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I I I play because I love this. Mm. Well, it's not for. I don't give up, like, bro. When I tell you, I don't give up. F about like. Like any other. Now you you told me the last time you didn't even really have an Instagram, bro. Like they when, just told you to make one. When I tell you, like, I didn't even want to post on Instagram or anything. Like, I, w I just wanted to. And hoop. you didn't before. I didn't. I still barely post. Like, I Only when they tell you. Yeah. Like, bro, I just want to hoop. Like, I just want to play basketball. Like You that. just want to hoop. Yes. Not like that. <laughs> like, I swear to God. Like, you be tapped in the online stuff, whether it's like the Bruce Kai, the yeah. streamers. You like the on you like watching online, I mean, but when, you yeah. When I'm like chilling, I love like just watching that stuff. It's funny, like. But you don't, but you're not trying to be like an influencer, internet oh, person. Oh no, not at all. You just want to hoop. Yeah. You just want to get bees. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> bees. <laughs> uh, shout out Bruce though. Shout out Bruce. Bruce is really really doing. He's having thing. it. Yeah. He's having it. I can't believe you missed that Lucky concert. Who missed it? You went? You went? I recorded that video. You did? You didn't see the... Yeah, you were in the cat. Oh. Come on, bro. Yeah, I forgot. Wait, why did I think you missed it? Why do you think I missed it? I don't know. That was crazy, though. <laughs> Wasn't it? What you been on? Working out, bro. With Excel. The time came, bro. Last year around this time. Remember we were in Indiana? Yeah, bro. Then you and me were in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. All over the country. That was before you were really like him for real. I'm not him, bro. Not yet. I don't know. You're getting there. I'm trying. I'm trying. 
I'm trying to do Especially like my... after last night. Especially after getting your jersey hung. We can say that. Uh-huh. We can say that. Go on him. Huh? I'm just trying to, um, I'm just trying to do my own thing now. Vlogs. Vlogs, like, and I'm gonna lie, my cousin was the first one to really believe in me. Told you. I mean, other than my cousins back home, mm -hmm. they know who they are. Mm -hmm. But I think you were, like, the first person to really, like, say, you should vlog. I told you. And then I put out that one date video that wasn't really vlog, but it was me, and I mean, it's about to do 100K, and that's my first face that's video. That's lit, bro. Hell yeah. I didn't expect that. Hell yeah. Are you about to just vlog now and stuff? I mean, I'm gonna still try to do like a couple docs, right? But not like from not the, like, like OD docs, not like OD or like high school basketball docs. No oh, more. for real? You're just gonna do like pros and stuff? Mm -hmm. Damn. Then my cousins come back for the draft. You mm -hmm. know, we've tapped in. Come back to the land. Jared left last night, right? Or two days mm -hmm. ago. This morning. This morning. Last night. This morning. Five a.m. One thing Jared and I talk about is like you're probably like the most uh chill guy that we know mm -hmm. like in times of of like struggle um, struggle uh -huh. a lot of sh going on yeah like you always are calm yeah try but to be how do you think you do that like a lot of commotion can be going on but you're I, always ja. i just try to stay level honestly mm -hmm. it's not easy like like don't get me wrong like and there's times where you need to get mad. You know what I mean? There's times yeah. where you need to not be this way. But, but it I seems don't know. It it's also has to do with, like, I was sort of born like this. Like, when I was a kid, I was like this, too. You're just tame. Yeah, you can ask my mom. Like, I was always, like, I was never, like, one of those, like, hyper kids. That, like, mm. I was always, like, kind of laid back. <laughs> you know? For say, not that you're team or anyone, but <clears throat> the way that we describe you is like, there's some teams you and Jared might have faced, mm -hmm. whether it's EYBL or high school, where they might have problems, this and that, mm -hmm. argue each other, but you'd be the one to just not get into that. Yeah. And then you you just always remain calm. Or I like mean, if you and Jared, when you guys took a couple losses during EYBL, you would always just be, like, on to the next. Like, not yeah, dwelling. Yeah, because I feel like that's how you have to do it. Like, if we're going to dwell on the, on our last <laughs> loss, like, like that shit, like, sorry, that already <laughs> happened. You know what I mean? Like, we mm. lost already, like, let's win the next one. What? Or, like, I had a bad game. All right. Get back up. Do it again. Next game. That was a big thing, too. We were talking about, um, like, when you guys, like, there were some times where you would have a bad game and the next game go crazy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Jared might be down, but he said you would pick him up mm -hmm. after a loss. Yeah. I mean, Jared's my guy, too. Like, Jared's yeah. one of my best friends. So, like, I'm always trying to bring, like, positivity to the situation. Mm. You think you apply that off the court? Yeah. Like, on to the next yeah, I think so. In like what ways? Mm, maybe like in school. Like let's say I, <laughs> let's say like, no like real realistically like let's say like I really messed up on a test. Mm. Like I'll be like alright, <laughs> no, <laughs> like alright I'm about to just pass the next one. Learn. But like don't get me wrong like. Like stuff hurts. Like like losing like kills me, but oh, I don't know. I don't let it like sh show. Mm, yeah, that's, that's the, that was the biggest thing we were show. talking about. Like yeah. no one can ever tell when you're rattled. Yeah. Well, you don't really get rattled. Well, you might inside. I just I just don't like to show like show weakness. I guess. Mm. I don't know. The hurt you because it wasn't even supposed to be merch. Nah. You said put it on the shirt. Yeah. And then and I was like, I got you, I got you. And then I remember you messaged me one day and you were like, you put on the shirt yet? And I'm like, I'm going to get on it right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what's crazy is that like, that's what people like always say to me. Like, heard you. I'm like, bro, what? They're like, heard you, cuz he. I'm like, oh. oh. I'm like, oh, okay. And it all started with Dusty just 
thinking what I said was funny. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you yeah. were just nah, repeating me. Nick said it to me for the first time. I was like, bro, did you just say heard you cousin to me? And then I was like, I kind of like that. So I just kept saying it, bro. And then we put it on the shirt. <laughs> we put it on the shirt and it ended up like global. <laughs> global. Bro. But that's what, like, the drip. I think being out in LA, seeing you get dripped, you Jerry get dripped, it's like I just love drip. Yeah. It grows on you. Quick. It grows and it's like I love clothes and want to make my own clothes. Mm-hmm. That's lit, bro. Yeah. Like, I want to make stuff, like not just merch, but stuff people actually want to wear. Yeah. Because you know how there's just yeah. merch and it's like. Yeah, bro. You want to make like some actual, like real yeah. like, clothing. Like, like, there's some stuff people send you mm. that you're like, I'm putting this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's stuff that's like, you'll put it on because that's your boy. But if like, I don't ever want to give someone something and be like, can you put it on for I want it. Just give them it yeah. and then they just wear it. Well, that's what like, I feel like you got to really take your time on that, on that kind of stuff. Like, I think that's the key. Yeah, like, I don't know. Luckily, we were blessed. The cousins supported us. I really just, well, looked at the um, fonts, Mm -hmm. threw it on there. Mm -hmm. But they just rocked with us. They rocked with it. Hell yeah. He leaves for real, like, when you leave. Oh, right. Like, he just went for that. Because you got that camp. Yeah. yeah. But they're, like, scrimmaging out there, yeah? He didn't tell me that. Probably, though. Yeah, I don't know. That's it, though. So when you leave, you won't be back till August. That's not that long. Kind of is. I mean, June to August. I mean, but then when I leave again in August, I'm gone for like the whole year. Yeah, whole year. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited though, bro. I'm ready to go. You're ready to get up out of here. Yeah, bro. You're ready for that isolation. I need it. Mmm. Ready for a new environment. Feel me. Mm. Like, you're just not be locked. Yeah. Hell yeah. New environment. New players. Coaches. You know what I mean? I hear you. What's the workouts been like? <clears throat> they different? Lit, bro. We've been with, like... Like, today, we're playing four on four with, like, Harrison Barnes. Mm. Bunch of league guys. Some college guys. Uh, that's regular for you now though yeah I mean when we go to yeah like when we work out it's like a bunch Kyrie was in there two days ago I didn't get to I didn't get to uh, I worked out after him but you were just in there but I saw him Russ was in there but that's regular yeah. right Russ is my guy that's raw no bro Kyrie was just in there the guys were telling me Kyrie is like like crazy crazy good mm. which which yeah I mean I don't buy I mean I don't Dude. My guy. What's going on, <laughs> kid? What's up? Are you guys in an interview? Mukbang. We're just vlogging. Sorry. Vlogging. Right, vlogging. You're good. You're good, dude. All right, man. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. My guy. Yeah. Mr. Pop. Eric. You're doing the full, like, pre-draft workout, right? Yeah. I'm basically, like, going through all the workouts that, like, all the guys that are getting ready for the draft mm-hmm. are doing. What's different that you didn't used to do? There's, like, seven trainers. So, like, they're all, like, chasing around with the pads and stuff. Mm. Yeah. And it's, like, like it's, like, real game, game-like situations. Because it's, like, there's five other guys on the court. Mm. When you get past, like, the first guy, there's, like, help side and all that. I see you've been eating a little bit. You've been trying. What's bro. the what's the eating schedule been? Same. Eating my mm. You know. You know how I guess. I know you. I don't. I tried it though, but I don't fully know. Yeah, bro. You see how I just took this down. When's the new EP coming out? You gotta ask Calvin, bro. Calvin keeps putting dates out on his Instagram, and then <laughs> and then doesn't drop them. And then everyone like DMs me, like, where are the EPs at? I'm like, like you don't have control. I'm like DM Calvin. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta DM Calvin. Uh, but Calvin's been doing his doing a bunch of like stuff. He went to China. Like Calvin be busy. Calvin be busy. I respect it. What do you think of like all the content creators now? You're tapped in low key. People don't know that about you. What? But like you're tapped into the content creator world. Like Bruce and them. Bruce Kai. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love it. What do you? I watch them all the time. Oh shoot! What do you think of them like signing now to their website? Yeah. See, I knew you were tapped in. Seems like it sounds like a better deal. Mm. Sounds like Twitch is taking money from. Them. Mm. I mean, I don't really know like the whole logistics of it, but I mean, like everyone's switching over, so it must be more bread involved. Mm. You know. Like, getting bread Panera or something. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, this time we were at Panera. Remember? In, in When we were in that, like... Yeah. That, like, mall hotel. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was the, that was this time of year. Mm-hmm. What is it, June? When is Peach Jam? July? July. Remember, I asked you guys, dang, the next year's coming up. You guys about to be in college. Then this time next year, could be league... Yeah. Tom, you flying? Yeah, it flies, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Now you're graduated. Graduated. That was crazy. Graduation was fun, bro. Do you know what your schedule's going to be like at Gonzaga? Like school or like basketball? Or basketball, like <clears throat> when you get there for the summer. No. I have no idea. I'm be- they're be- I think they're just, like, waiting for me to get up there, and then they're just going to, mm. like, show me everything. But, I mean, like, I know where I'm staying and all that. What's it looking like? I mean, I got my dorm. Your own room? Mm. Nah, actually, I got a roommate. In the dorm? Like, in the room? I think it's, like, I think we have our own beds. Mm. But, like, we share, like, a living space. Mm. I think. I'm not sure, though. What you been, like, working on in the gym? All kinds of stuff. You've been adding? Yeah, just, you know, all new types of moves, types of reads, like, mm. working on my floater game. Mm, the gotta, flow game, because it's, cha- it's college Gotta now. have that floater in college. Mm. Uh, Do you ever wish, like, you you added that earlier? Yeah, mm. for sure. I definitely wish I could have done, like, I could have done these work, like, work with these people, like, last year, too. Mm. I mean, but like Shay is really good. Like, it's just good to see like different types like, of training. Yeah, it's good to like get different like different types of training. Yeah. The bill, the the billionaire guy, you know, he 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 can give you more advice. Yeah, you know, bro. I say his name. Oh my fault. Yeah, I talked. I actually had a, he he gave me these uh, after we had this whole conversation. Whoa. He basically like told me how he created. How, bro, he he caught well. But I'll just cut to like the part that I was like, that's like crazy. So you remember the the Redeem team? Mm-hmm. He called Braun and he was like, I'm going to give each and every one of you a pair of these new that I just made. But you have to wear them every time you go get off the bus and come back on the bus. And so if you, if you look at all the videos of them coming off the bus, they all have these. Marketing. And that's when like was like down here and that's when it like shot. Yeah, I was like, that's cr- that's like such a good idea. You know what I mean? What advice did he like? What did he tell you that for? Like, you got- no, he like the the main thing that he told me was just like, if you have, if you have a really good work ethic, like, you're gonna be successful, regardless. <clears throat> like whatever the outcome is. Yeah, that's what he t- that was basically like the summary of the content conversation <clears throat> how do you guys get to talking about that sometimes i'm just at the crib and no, <laughs> no one's there and it's really? just me and him and he just texts me he's like you trying to like have lunch and i'm like yeah hell yeah oh and then the the they don't go anywhere the chef cooks yeah, it up right chef, how do yeah, you decide what, what you want to eat we don't decide the chef decides the billionaire's mind is too busy to decide what to eat right i think they i think they just or they just trust they no they they give like the chefs like things that they like mm. like ideas of what to make and then the chefs just like do their own thing with that stuff you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah is a chef 24 7 um i think so if need be but sometimes she's in malibu and sometimes she's in beverly mm. so like sometimes when i'm in beverly she's not there because she's mm. with with them in malibu did you go on vacation that house when you were sitting on the cliff yeah, I went to Mexico. How is it, like, <clears throat> vacationing, like, different? With them? Yeah. I mean, it's, like, night and day. 
<laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's just like, like, you basically have everything you ever, like, wanted, right? Wanted or would think to have, like, like, that you didn't even think. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> like, what's the, not, like, what's the main parts that are night and day? I mean, I don't even know, like, I don't even know where to begin. It's just like a completely different experience. Like it's pe- just like full service, twenty four seven. Like anything you want to do all day, you can. <laughs> like it's what? like no limitations. Like if you want to jet ski, you can go jet ski. If you want to like, s- s- we went spear fishing. I was in there with the spear, like, like trying to catch these fish with the spear. It was lit. Like if you want um any snack, anything. Is yeah, done. they could probably figure it out somehow. <laughs> And you're around this island. And I was there ch- chilling, like, like, I don't know. Does that make you, like, you always dream of that life, and then you get to live it? Yeah, I get to, Is like, it... get a taste of it. It's, like, motiv- Yeah, it motivates mm. me, for sure. Just, like, getting a taste of it, like, what like, I could... It, like, opens my eyes to, like, what I could do, what I could have if I keep doing the right like thing. Like, the sauce bottle is full, but you're only getting a couple drinks. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Do you think your mindset has changed since the last time we talked? That was like early yeah. August. What Definitely. do you think it is now? I don't. I just never really ever worked as hard as I'm working right now. Mm. And you said that last time. Yeah. So you like? I you like feel like there, really you feel like there's levels. There's levels to it for sure. Every year, like it's a new level. And like being in this gym with these like, with these NBA guys, it gives you a sense of like like their mental. And, like, their work ethic. Like, you get to, like, understand what you need to, like, I don't know. You just get a different taste of, like, how they really do it. What do you think you learn from them? Like, any tips? Yeah, I mean, mostly just, like, the mindset. Like, walking in the gym, like, like they walk in the gym, like. They're trying to kill you? Like, they're trying to kill you. And, like, they're. And it's just a pickup game. And it's just a pickup game, yeah. <laughs> But you, they're you all can talking. Feel- they're all talking and like, mm. yeah. It's just like the most competitive. Like all those guys are like, the most competitive people in the world. I'd say, like them wow. and like all their professional athletes. Wow. You know what I mean? So like they, I don't know. They just compete every single time. Like regardless of what we're doing, like shooting drills, like, um, like anything that's like a like a competition. It's like. Dirt. I need to win this. Wow. I didn't, I didn't think that... Sometimes it can... I thought, like, NBA guys kind of take it easy sometimes the off-season, but... Yeah, I mean, like, there's certain guys that definitely do take it a little more easier than others. Mm. Uh, but then there's those guys that, like, really, like, don't mess around with, with the training. And it's just, like, the lifestyle, too. Like, everything. Everything is... Lifestyle? Like, what you mean? I'm just saying, like, in everything you do, like, they mm. try to be the best, I feel like. You know? Because, um. like, why why be the best in one area when you could just be your best all the time? That part. You know? All the times when I've filmed you, even this season, people will be talking crazy to you, yeah. but it will be like they're not, you can't even hear them. Well, because I've been getting talked to crazy for so long, too, that it's like... <laughs> Like, there's nothing you can say to me that's really gonna, like... Like, you heard it all. Yeah, like, there's not much you can really say to me that's gonna make me, like, really, like, mad at all. Mm, but you feel like you're a target. I mean, like, yeah. I, th- I feel like anyone who, who's, like, a good player is a target mm. from other good players, you know? True that. Everyone's competing. Everyone, everyone has a goal. Everyone, you know, is trying to compete and trying to win, so... What do you think of, like... All um, draft is coming up this mm-hmm. year, and then all these guys they were in the same like now you're in their position, and then like the draft came fast, really. Yeah. So, is it like, oh dang, like it's right here? That's why, you yeah, know. for sure. I mean, especially being in the gym, like talking to like these guys who are in this in the process right now. Mm, you so like that's the thing right now. You have a combination of the league guys, like you said, yeah, Kyrie. Um, who was Kyrie, Russ, Russ, like all stars, yeah. perennial players, mm-hmm. and you have uh, guys getting ready, guys for the draft. going to the draft. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, the main thing, like I, like you know, talking to Dorik mm. from, from Duke, Duke, yeah, 
and I was talking to like my agent too about it. Like he was in my same, like he was doing these workouts last year, mm. getting ready for college. Like a bunch of guys that are there now, yeah, were like getting ready for college there. So like it's just cool, it's just super cool experience to like be in there, and just compete. Like it's the most fun you'll ever have competing with those guys. What do they tell you about like? <clears throat> distractions. Well, well, normally when I tell them I'm going to Gonzaga, they're like, all right, you'll be straight. Because <laughs> it's not a lot of distractions out there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. And I mean, I probably, I wouldn't really let myself get distracted like that. So you're going out there, you know, some people have their, peop- like their brother move out or something. Yeah. Their uncle mm-hmm. with them, or they might have family in that city. Mm-hmm. You just have you. Yeah, I just have me and my teammates. True. Yeah. You, what do you think? Like prepared you for that? I mean, or I, you, I you, think you, you prepared you, me. I'm. I'm. I don't. I mean, I'm just. I'm just living in the present, and I'm just like mm, ready to where, get where out Where did you there. get that? Live in the present. I don't know. Where did I get that? <laughs> did I get that from you? Not me. Oh, I guess I just. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hindsight. Yeah, hindsight. Shout yeah. out hindsight. Shout out hindsight. Shout out hindsight. Um, nah, but like, I don't know. I'm ready to get out there and just like throw myself in the mix. Because I feel like that's where the most growth will happen. And I remember you telling me last, or beginning of this high school season, you're you're ready to, to work. Yeah, bro. It's my favorite part of everything. It's like working out and like working mm. and like getting better and like feeling... Like, the best feeling is, like, feeling yourself get better. Like, noticing change yeah. in your game. Like, you're you're ready to compete for that spot. Yeah. Despite what, like, who's coming back, who's yeah. leaving, I mean, I'm who's just, transferring in. Yeah. Oh, are I'm, you ready? I mean, I'm just going to compete, like, every time. Word. Feel me? Like, the dog is in you. Yeah. Any Any other lessons you can remember from the... You're a billionaire mystery friend. Uh, Recent? But where, like, you'll just be in the house, like, in a room or something? Chilling in the room? Like, when we talk? Like, before he's, like, want to have lunch? Oh, yeah, I'll just be in my bed, like... In, cool. you'll be in someone's, you'll just be in, in the room in the house. Yeah. Just, and then so big that he has to text <laughs> you to meet him. Yeah, he's like, or the, actually, the security texted me, it was like, wants to know if you want to have lunch with him. I was like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. So I slid downstairs. What are your top five lessons from him? Top three, top three. I don't three. know, bro. That's t- like, that's all. I mean, the main, like, the thing that he keeps, like, he keeps bringing up is, like, the work ethic. Like, Isn't the- this dude hella old? And he's old still is- working? Working his up. Is he not sleeping and stuff still? I mean, he's, like, on the phone all day making deals, like, all uh. that. Running businesses. What do you notice? And your ears really dancing. <laughs> Is that real? No. Uh, I mean, they're real. They're real. They're not like VVs. They're though. not VVs. Nah. They look pretty VV to me, bro. Well, shout out that. Shout out the 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 store. I'm not gonna say, but shout out them. <laughs> shout out Icebox. Shout out Icebox. Nah, not Icebox. One day, <laughs> we both gonna be there. Nah, no cap. Nah, no cap. We gonna look back on this, <laughs> but. What um what do you notice since you've been around a bunch of successful people? Like, what's the biggest difference between millionaires and the average Joe? Mindset. What? I mean, what else could there could it be? I mean, like, what about, like their habits. Yeah, like that's that goes back to mindset though. Like it's mindset. Like you want to be great for yourself, so you're gonna do everything you can to be in that situation. No, I think my favorite. I wish we had it mic'd up, but my favorite portion of that, I still caught a little bit mm. of when we were eating at Tender Greens for the first time. Yeah. Was like, talk to me. When you told me. I feel like athletes are different, bro. I don't know. I feel like athletes are the most like. I feel like people who've been through a lot are. People who've been through a lot are sometimes the funniest. Actually, a lot of times the funniest, mm-hmm. but also they're the most humble. Yeah, yeah. Because, like how you said, uh, it kind of relates, but there's only so much someone can say to you that can really bother you because yeah. you've heard it all. People who've been through a lot, it's like, 
well, say per se, athletes who've been through a lot, mm-hmm. they already have all the money and everything. So they don't want, if they're working with you, they don't, when we say athletes, like pro athletes, mm-hmm. eight times out of 10, they don't want any money. Yeah. They just want your company or your mm-hmm. service. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, why would they, that's why they're the most humble yeah, this time. Yeah, I agree. I agree, man. Yeah. But yeah, it's been real. First mukbang. Where are you about to go after this? I'm not a lie. I'm about to get fly. Oh, you about to get fly? It's just I, I've been <sighs> seeing you been getting your bag recently, bro. It's because I want to shout. That's also the herdy cousin. I couldn't have done without you. Yeah. That made me want to really take it serious with the the clothing. Yeah. What's the last quote for this? Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this in TV. I'm in this full tray. I just pulled on me and hey, rip all of my face. 500 racks to say, 500 racks to... <laughs> I think people who can memorize song lyrics have the craziest brains. Nah, I can't. I don't even think that was the lyrics for real. I was, it was. Was it? Yeah, I don't know. I was just... Nah, I can't, though. But... Yeah, I don't really have a quote. Do you have a quote? I'm just reiterate. Ja, and mm. live in the present, because mm. that's all you can do. Mm. Mm. That's all you can do. Mm. Yeah, you heard it here first. Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll catch you next year. Next year. Draft time. Draft time. We'll catch you draft time. Yes, sir. Fields. Max Fields? Yeah, look it up. What, they got an Instagram Bro, they or have every, like, bro, if, like, they like have. Supreme? No, no, no. no. Oh. I'm talking, like, bro. They have, like, every, the store is crazy. You never seen the, like, it has, like, the, the statues outside? This is Max Fields. I've never seen that. Bro, you've never seen that? I make an appointment to get in there? Nah. That's what they say, but you really can just pull up. But okay. sometimes, like, the rappers, like, when they get in there, like, no one, the, like, Uzi be in there, like, all the time. Like, all, like, all the time. In this one in LA. What's in here? Bro, like, I've How I never heard of this? Bro, everything. Like, everything. Everything, like, what? You said they don't have Supreme. <laughs> like, anything, like. Like high fashion, like designer. Designer, designer. No, but like then there's also like all this streetwear. But it's just the waviest. It's like, bro, it's the craziest store. I'm trying to tell you. They got shoes or not? Yeah, they got shoes in there. Dang, you're putting me on. What other stores? Uh, just walk down that down that like that that row of like stores. They have like everything. There's like Ricks over there, like. Uh, but it's like you're gonna go broke though if you if you if you shop there. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, bro. I'm, but at least you're giving me for the future. I mean, it's also fun to just like look around, like. True. Just like see what you like. Yeah. Yeah. I see right now it's really just that designer, but it's that different. No, but I'm trying to tell you, you gotta go to the store. Like, you gotta go in there. Mmm. Like, you'll really find. I know what you mean like sometimes you can just find stuff that's like. I might just buy it, yeah. but then you find that one, like... No, I'm telling you, like, when I went for the first time, I was like, bruh. So you don't need an appointment? I I didn't when I went. Who did you go with? My boy Alex. I swear to God, you don't need an appointment. You have to, I think, if you don't have an appointment, you have to wait in line. Mm. But, like, there, the line takes, like, five minutes, literally. Is the Malibu one week? I've never been, there's one in Malibu? Yeah. Oh, I've never been to that one. What other stores? Uh, I mean, you can never go wrong with Supreme. You can never go wrong. Well, I don't even go to that Supreme store. That was weak when I went in there. Which one? The one on Mel- Melrose. Oh, yeah, the Melrose one. Is- yeah. There's one in, like, uh... Oh, there's another one? There's one in, like, like low-key Beverly. It's, like, really nice. It has like all like all the new drops. Yeah, and like oh. like all types. No, Melrose, I'm trying to tell you that was bad. Melrose is like the place that like people go when they don't know like where to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I'm gonna stop. I might. I don't know if I should even stop by the Visions. What's that? See this big store? Yeah, my boy. He he's the lawyer for all of Supreme on the West Coast. So when we go there, we get like crazy discounts, like like fifty percent off. Yeah. You do have hella Supreme. Yeah. You be going crazy. Yeah, because I be getting that discount. Supreme is fire. Where's my Jack? Where's my Supreme? I just bought this crazy. Peace. This crazy Supreme uh, Peace. jacket. That's crazy, bro. You're really an LA native. Yeah. I'm really like deep in the LA vibe. No, you deep. You really can't even really Google like stuff like this. No, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's why like no one really beat. Like only the people that really know like what they're talking about go to these places. Because like I've never heard of Maxfields, none of that. But Maxfields is so tough. You I mean, ever yeah, been to Dover Street? You'll find, yeah. That's fire enough. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, like, bro, honestly, you'll find, like, at least, like, a couple, like, one thing you like in, like, each store, like, especially out here, like, this is, ooh. <laughs> you can't even, ooh. <laughs> He's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> Hop step. What difficulty is this? It's that, it's that Hall of Fame. Nah. Yeah. You ain't doing that bad on Hall of Fame. Yeah. Look at that. I clipped him, bro, on that spin. I don't know why he did that. He's trying to get him. Look. Not everyone is 6'5". What you mean? You got the perfect, like, you got the, like, you could really get drippy. Like, you got the perfect build. No, I'm saying, like, like you when, when you're not the best looking dude, you got to. Despite the minority stone, you gotta get drippy. I mean, you, you, you gotta help yourself. I <laughs> feel like you gotta get drippy regardless. True of that. Who you are? I just love to get. I just love to get flea. Oh, you love to get flea? <laughs> <laughs> That's just me though. <laughs>